Okay. Hey everybody, uh, talk with my hands, so if you could excuse me for that. Um, but just, I'm really, I was having a conversation with my mom this morning that was so deep that reading this scripture in Romans, I'm reading Romans again, but I'm like just taking it just very slow. Like I'm still in chapter one, it's been day two. But my mom's conversation this morning about what is your life consist? Is it God or the devil? And that's just it. There, there's no gray area. And if your life ain't showing Christ and what you're reading and what you're preaching, uh, you got to re-examine yourself and see where you're at with God because if, if it's not, you, you shouldn't be out there uh, saying stuff about the Word, about Jesus out of your mouth. Because ultimately your life should show it. But you, if you're out there saying all that stuff and reading it and preaching it and your life ain't showing it, you should not be doing that. And I'm even checking myself because after having a conversation earlier with my mom, in Romans chapter 1, verse 19, now I'll go to 21 and 22, but it says 19, and are confident that you yourself are a guide to the blind, a light to those who are in darkness. Are you confident enough your lifestyle shows that you can lead someone that's blind, spiritually blinded. They don't see the sin they're in. And someone that's in darkness, they're, 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 they're hopeless. They're in darkness. And they live in the sin. And they're okay with it, but they just don't know the real way. And your lifestyle shows the real way. Yeah, words don't mean anything, but your lifestyle and how you're showing in actions. I'm even talking to myself. Because I'm having some couple areas that are not right with God. One of them is uh, smoking. And yeah, I do medical marijuana, but it's just, I don't want to be, I, I want my lifestyle. You know, you just gotta have all Jesus, and it just, it, it, it really does change your life if you really truly have faith. And it, uh, from what I know, he does. He does change your life all around. He gives you that, that new person you need to be in life, you know. And, but 21, it says, uh, You therefore who teach another, do you teach yourself? You who preach that a man should not steal, do you steal? You who say, do not commit adultery, do you commit adultery? You who are idols, do you rob temples? So it's saying the lifestyle you live and what you're preaching, what you're reading to someone, do you do the same things? But it all just goes back to how is your lifestyle is it showing Jesus? Is it showing what you're reading or what you're preaching? I gotta, I gotta work on myself too. But this is for everybody. And just, God showed this to me because it's his Bible, it's his word. And I do know God, but I, I gotta get back better with him. And I, I don't wanna wait my life, life long to, to get better with, back with, just better with God lifestyle you know um, and then after I had a conversation with mom and then just reading it that to me was you can say whatever but that was God and so oh yeah you know just my mom was talking about <clears throat> in our conversation this morning I'm gonna segue with this I'm gonna segue um, when Jesus is on the cross I think it's in Psalms 22 but he was on the cross and God had to turn his head. Remember how much loneliness Jesus felt for that moment that he took all the sins of the world and God couldn't see all that sin. So he turned his head away. Couldn't see Jesus. So that being the son of God and Jesus 
if we sin, you know, God is not looking at us. And that's just it. Protecting. Um, his, his everything for you is, is not going to be there for you because you're doing that sin and he can't see that sin. If he did that to Jesus, he'll do the same. We're not Jesus, the Son of God. Anyways, take care of that and God bless. Thank you.